people it's Rakita and I'm back with another video so in this video I want to talk about the best credit cards for bad credit with high limits so if you're looking to get primary trade lines added to your credit reports to build your credit scores and maybe you want to get the higher limits definitely stick around you guys because I want to tell you guys which credit cards you guys can actually apply for now if this is your first time watching my video make sure you guys thumbs up the video and subscribe I talk about credit repair I talk about real estate I talk about just credit cards in general on how to build your credit score up so if you're new make sure you subscribe make sure you like the channel and if you just watching a video and you find value make sure you thumbs up the video now let's go right into the video I do not want to waste time so the first credit card that I want to talk to you guys about is a two more credit card <laughs> but the two more credit card you guys this is a credit card that would approve you with no credit check so if your credit is bad you know a lot of people got bad credit but if your credit is bad they can approve you all the way from a hundred dollars to ten thousand dollars so I actually applied for this company and I joined their waiting list back in September of 2020, just in case this video you're watching at a later date. And then I didn't get that application into November, but I applied for it. It was actually on my birthday. I think they gave it to me as a birthday gift, but I'm just going to be quiet about it. <laughs> but I actually applied for the account. They approved me and they let me know that I can get a higher limit in a month if I just make sure I pay everything on time. Now with this card, you're not going to have any annual fee at all. So you remember they could approve you all the way up to $10,000. So you're not going to have an annual fee and they're going to report to the credit bureaus that you're paying on time. So go ahead and check them out, you guys. And I have the link in the description so definitely check them out now the next credit card i want to talk to you guys about is the x1 credit card i think that the x1 credit card is a good credit card because they're not going to actually check your credit they're going to go through your banking they're going to look at your bank's statements and see how much you actually have coming in and how much is going out and they're going to prove you that way now they say they usually give two three four times the limits of regular bank regular regular bank so definitely look into getting this card at the time they do have a waiting list but i just suggest you guys sign up for them because the two more credit card it was it was more than i really thought it would be now with the two more credit card remember this is an account where you don't have any interest with the x1 credit card you do have an interest rate now with the two more that's because anytime you buy something with the two more credit card they're going to want you to pay that bill back in 28 days whatever you buy is due in 28 days but they're going to take 25 dollars 25 percent of that not 25 dollars 25 percent of whatever you buy they're going to make you pay that every week so it's going to be on auto payment now when it comes down to the x1 credit card they don't have anything like this to the point where you're going to have an interest rate for this credit card but it's a higher limit credit card without you know with no credit check now these are like the two easiest ones you guys can get but these two right here is a guaranteed approval so no matter what your credit score is it don't matter what's in your bank account these two is guaranteed approval you guys can get two five thousand dollar credit cards reporting to your credit reports which would be ten thousand dollars total total there are two separate accounts so the first card is called the my jewelers club so the my jewelers club when i signed up for this you guys my credit score went up over 60 points so i always suggest that people sign up for this credit card so when you sign up for the credit card you have to buy something for a hundred dollars when you buy something for a hundred dollars then they're going to go ahead and sign you up with financing with the financing they're going to say okay you got something for a hundred dollars but we want you to pay half now and pay half later we're going to bill you for the other half we're going to throw it on your five thousand dollar credit card now make sure you guys go back in there and pay the other half some people don't go in there and pay it and they have late payments and i almost didn't pay mine i almost had a late payment so remember to go back in there and pay it now to sign up for this company it is a 99 dollars fee but i always tell people if you're looking to get a high limit credit card this is it instead of going to get a trade line get this primary trade line that could be on your credit reports so definitely you guys sign up for that my jewelers club but the next company i want to tell you guys about which is another five thousand dollar credit card is a new coast direct now when you sign up for these companies you guys they're going to report to all three credit bureaus they're going to pull your Experian credit score and it's the same thing you buy something for a hundred dollars they charge you a hundred dollars also but they're going to finance half of that so they're going to finance half of whatever you buy. So sign up for these companies. They're going to report to the credit bureaus. But when they give you that hard inquiry with Experian, do not dispute it. Because they say if you dispute their hard inquiry with Experian, they're going to actually delete that account they're going to remove that account they're going to close it you guys so you do not want to dispute that account you want to let that account stay there that inquiry stay there and just leave it as be i know a lot of people they're getting my inquiry removal if you guys don't have my inquiry removal go ahead and look in the i'm gonna have a pop-up here go ahead and check out that pop-up and i'm gonna have some results here well i actually got some late payments and i 
got some inquiries removed from my credit report, you guys. These are two things that's hard for a lot of people to get removed, late payments and inquiries. But I have the late payment removal and I have the inquiry removal in my store. And I have the pop-up here to you guys to show you guys that this can happen. So you can't get these accounts removed. But you do not want to mess with the inquiry for this company. Now, I know I told you guys about these different credit cards, but if you really want to get a high limit credit card, I suggest you guys go to credit unions. So I want to tell you a brief story about me and how I got a six thousand dollar credit card with the credit union you guys and my credit score was 620 so i got a i got a six thousand dollar credit card with a credit union and i was able to do a balance transfer on a lot of my credit cards that had high limits because i got a better interest rate with the credit union don't forget credit unions are meant for people they're not like banks trying to suck money out of you they're all they all the money go right back into the credit union you guys so i always tell people to apply for credit cards to the credit unions to me they're more lenient they're give they give a higher limits to you guys so if you build a relationship with them you guys you're going to be able to get higher limit credit cards now i already had a 620 credit score at the time when they gave you that gave me that six thousand dollar credit card but i was so appreciative of it now on top of them giving me that six thousand dollar credit card you guys they actually refinanced my card too and it was upside down and they still it was upside down to the point where i owe more than you know, it was worth that. What up, that's what upside down me. That mean you owe more than it's worth. So say if you have a ten thousand dollar loan, but it's only worth eight thousand. What they did was they tacked the the amount that I was over on. They tacked that to the loan, so they gave me like a loan, a big loan, all in one. But I was able to drop my payment in half. So definitely mess with the credit unions. So I suggest you guys go to the credit unions after you do these different things. It's gonna really boost your credit score up. Go to the credit unions, guys. And if you guys need more credit cards look down in the description you guys go to my store and get my master credit card list it has over 100 credit cards you guys can apply for so go ahead and check them out and i don't know what you guys think is a high limit to you guys so i told you the highest limit for bad credit is like ten thousand dollars right now but i want to show you guys how i'd use the shopping cart trick to get my client this three thousand dollar credit card and it's a visa credit card because i know it's like oh you can get the five thousand dollar credit card but those are technically store credit cards you can't use them anywhere this client they actually asked us to see if we can do the shopping cart trick for them so the shopping cart trick is where you're going to get credit cards without a hard inquiry and without a check credit check but this client was able to get this three thousand dollar credit card and listen they didn't get a hard inquiry they did not get a credit check and it's a visa credit card so there's so many different credit cards out there that you can do a shopping cart trick with i'm going to make sure i link it here so you guys can go ahead and check it out but if you guys ever have any questions definitely let me know make sure you guys subscribe to the youtube channel if you have any questions in terms of rakita where do i put this where do i put that what's going on definitely let me know because i can go ahead and answer it for you go ahead and call us 833 rakita and make sure if you found any value like if anything went ding dong in your head like oh my gosh I never thought of that or if anything changed your life in terms of, oh my gosh, this information is going to help me get the credit card that I want now because I found out about it. Make sure you guys like the video, thumbs up the video and make sure you guys subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.